If you're in Milan or planning to go to Milan, here are 10 things you should do. For a more updated list and some useful links about cheap hotels, flights, experience and travel insurance, check the description below. Visit Milan Cathedral, Duomo di Milano. The Milan Cathedral, locally known as Il Duomo, is a stunning architectural marvel that dominates the city's skyline. It stands as the fourth largest church in the world and showcases a harmonious blend of Gothic and Renaissance architectural styles. Inside, visitors are treated to an atmosphere of grandeur and religious significance, with intricate stained glass windows and elaborate sculptures. The main altar is an exquisite masterpiece, and the crypt houses the remains of St. Charles Borromeo. Climbing the cathedral's rooftop, accessible by stairs or an elevator, offers a unique perspective of Milan's urban landscape and surrounding mountains. The panoramic view from the terraces is especially magical during sunrise or sunset. Explore Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. Housed within the convent of Santa Maria del Grazi, Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper is an unforgettable artistic experience. This iconic fresco depicts the emotional moment when Jesus announces that one of his disciples will betray him. The artwork's technical brilliance, combined with its emotive storytelling, has made it one of the most famous paintings in the world. Due to preservation efforts, only a limited number of visitors are allowed each day, making it essential to book tickets well in advance to secure a chance to witness this historical masterpiece up close. Stroll through Brera District. Brera is a vibrant and culturally rich neighborhood, cherished for its artistic atmosphere and enchanting streets. The district's focal point is the Pinacoteca de Brera, a prestigious art gallery housing a remarkable collection of Italian art from the Middle Ages to the 20th century. Visitors can admire masterpieces by Caravaggio, Raphael, and Rembrandt, among others. Beyond the art, Brera's narrow alleys are adorned with charming boutiques, antique shops, and artisan workshops. The district is a haven for bohemian spirits, attracting creative souls and intellectuals alike. It's a perfect place to meander and soak in the artistic ambience, which becomes even more delightful during the annual Brera Art Night, an open-air art festival. Enjoy an aperitivo. Aperitivo is a quintessential Milanese tradition and a delightful way to unwind after a day of exploration. Usually taking place between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m., Aperitivo is a pre-dinner ritual that involves sipping on refreshing drinks and enjoying a buffet of appetizers. Popular aperitifs include the classic Aperol Spritz, Negroni, and Americano. The selection of appetizers varies from place to place but often includes olives, cheeses, cold cuts, bruschetta, and other mouthwatering snacks. The trendy Navigli district, Brera, and the historic center are excellent places to experience the authentic aperitivo culture. Spend time at Sforza Castle, Castello Sforzesco. Sforza Castle is an imposing fortress that holds centuries of Milanese history within its walls. Originally built in the 14th century, the castle has undergone several renovations and expansions over time. Today, it serves as a cultural hub, hosting several museums and art collections. The Museum of Ancient Art exhibits a vast array of sculptures and paintings, including Michelangelo's last sculpture, the Rondanini Pieta. The castle's inner courtyards are adorned with elegant arcades and sculptures, offering visitors a glimpse into the city's Renaissance past. Surrounding the castle, Sempion Park provides an idyllic setting for leisurely walks and picnics. Watch an opera performance at La Scala. La Scala is renowned worldwide as one of the most prestigious opera houses, attracting the finest singers, conductors, and musicians. The theater's illustrious history dates back to 1778, when it was inaugurated with Antonio Salieri's opera Europa Riconosciuta. Since then, La Scala has hosted countless world premieres and performances by legendary artists. The opulent interior features plush red velvet seating and a stunning crystal chandelier. 
Attending a performance at La Scala is a captivating experience, whether it's a traditional opera, a ballet, or a symphonic concert. Shop at Galleria Vittorio Emanuele Hu. The Galleria Vittorio Emanuele Hu is a symbol of Milan's prosperity and architectural prowess during the late 19th century. This opulent shopping arcade, designed by Giuseppe Mangoni, boasts a glass dome roof that allows natural light to flood the interior. The floor is adorned with intricate mosaics, including the Turin coat of arms and the Savoy emblem. The Galleria is a haven for luxury shopping, with renowned brands and haute couture boutiques lining its corridors. In addition to shopping, visitors can enjoy a meal at one of the charming cafes or restaurants with views of the stunning dome. Wander through the Navigli canals. The Navigli district is characterized by its network of historic canals, which once served as crucial transportation routes. While many of the canals have been covered over the years, the area retains its romantic charm. A walk along the Naviglio Grande or Naviglio Pavese canals immerses visitors in the vibrant local atmosphere. The district comes alive in the evenings, as the Navigli area is famous for its buzzing nightlife. The waterfront is lined with diverse bars and restaurants, offering everything from traditional Italian cuisine to international flavors. Visit Parco Sempione. Parco Sempione is a picturesque urban park located near the historical center of Milan. Named after the Swiss neighborhood of the same name, the park stretches over 116 acres and provides a peaceful sanctuary amidst the bustling city. It features wide green lawns, tree-lined avenues, and serene ponds. Visitors can enjoy leisurely walks, rent bicycles, or simply relax under the shade of the trees. Within the park, the striking Arco della Pace, Arch of Peace, stands as a neoclassical monument commemorating the Napoleonic period. Parco Sempione is a popular spot for picnics, outdoor yoga classes, and recreational activities. Take a day trip to Lake Como. While not directly within Milan, Lake Como is easily accessible from the city and well worth the short journey. Surrounded by the majestic Alps, the lake's crystalline waters and scenic beauty have inspired poets, writers, and travelers for centuries. Popular towns around Lake Como include Como, Bellagio, Verena, and Menaggio, each with its own unique charm. You can explore the elegant villas and gardens that grace the lakeshore, take a leisurely boat cruise, or indulge in delicious lakeside cuisine. The natural beauty and tranquility of Lake Como offer a welcome respite from the urban energy of Milan.